Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see one of the key core transformation function available in Apache Beam called Combiner. So Combine is a Beam core transformation for combining collection of elements or values in your data. It has variants that work on entire P collection and it can work on only keys as well as values key value pairs in the p collection so when you apply a com combined transformation we should provide a function that contains the logic for combining the elements or values and uh, as you know the combiner is some mini reducer which does the reduce task locally to a mapper machine that is local machine but but the combining function which is provided by apache beam has a capability to do both commutative mean and division as well as associative so we'll talk about this in detail for this i'll take an example um, we'll go to this notepad i'll take an example where there is a collection of values and the total count is six so suppose we wanted to calculate the average of these numbers ideally it should be the sum of all numbers divided by total count of numbers which comes to 21.667 so when we use the conventional combiners um, when we are when we are using the conventional com conventional combiners it cannot produce the correct uh, results for a mean or division of numbers we know that the combiners run on each of the mapper locally so on the first mission it will calculate 1 comma 40 comma 10 the total count of it divided by the count of number and similarly 20 comma 50 comma 9 it will run on the second mapper machine and it, the value will be like 79 by 3 and then it will move into that reducer function the total value uh, 17 plus 26.3 divided by 2 so the when we divide when we calculate the final value it will be like 21.65 which is wrong so whereas when the beam transformation function combiner uh, can provide the correct results for these calculations also and com beam combiner in the beam transformation is a more sophisticated method to do this so basically uh, it will uh, form a, a tuple whereas one like the total sum and as well as the count so basically whatever the conventional combiners does it will do the same 1 comma 40 comma 10 20 comma 50 comma 9 instead of summing it up instead of summing it up and uh, uh, divided by the to total value it will take in the form of sum and count in the tuple and then it will go into the reducer machine and totally it will have 51 plus 79 divided by 6 in this case we will get 21.667 so uh, this can be break down into four simple steps that is uh, create accumulator uh, add input merge accumulator and finally extract output so this is to perform complex transformation function inside the combiner methods so first of all what is create accumulator it creates a new local accumulator in each machine keeps a record of sum and counts and then add input adds an input element to an accumulator returning new sum count value and the third is merge accumulator merges several uh, sorry merges all machines accumulator into a single one in our case all the sum counts from various machines are gathered and summed up and finally extract output performs the final output on the merge accumulators result it can called only after the uh, once we get the merge accumulators result so there are basically three types of methods or three types of functions in beam core transformation that is combine globally combine per key and the third one is combine values Combine globally is nothing but it will deal all the elements in the P collection and combine per key it combines all the elements for each key in the P collection and combine values it forms an iterable uh, iterable of values in a keyed collection of elements and basically uh, to con um, to add two points to add uh, to sum it up the the Apache Beam SDK uh, like Python Java Go it provides some pre-built combined functions for common numeric combination operations such as min max and ma min max and sum and complex transformation if you wanted to do complex transformation we can make use of this four methods and we can uh, do that uh, inside uh, uh, our python sdk or whatever the sdk which is supported by apache beam 
so if you wanted to learn more about a combined function in apache beam you can go through this links and i guess enough of the theory part we will now uh, implement it in practically for implementing it practically i am using a google collab notebook where i am installing apache beam using this command pip3 install apache beam and i am importing apache beam as beam so first i am uh, i'm using combined globally method for that i'm creating a pipeline and i'm creating an uh, input where this is my input 21 comma 45 78 so totally there are seven elements the count is seven and then i'm using to call that combined function uh, we can use beam dot combined globally and i'm passing this average function class so average function is nothing but a subclass for implementing the combined function logic so first is create accumulator the second one is add input third one is merge accumulator and final one is extract output so uh, in our first case it creates an accumulator uh, where it's creating a local accumulator and initializing the sum and count value whereas uh, the local where uh, the sum and count value for this in the form of tuple is 0 comma 0 we are initializing uh, we are initializing 0 comma 0 where is 0 and other 0 is sum and count and then the add input then the add input is taking each of the numbers as an input adding the number in previous sum and incrementing the count to 1 this would be applying so this would be happening parallelly to all the mappers in the job so this will be happening um, parallelly to all the mappers in the job in the each mapper this function would be local sum and local count and the third function is merge accumulators so it will take this sum and count from all the machines so if there are in our case in our example basically we formed two um, add input functions two add input functions and it will get um, basically this two add input function 51 comma 3 79 comma 3 so this merge accumulators will get um, will get uh, some and count tuple from all the machines create a list out of it create a list out of it and do the aggregations of all the sum and count separately so in this example yeah, i'm just it this this values are 99 27 145 i got it from this above input add input method where uh, where from different machines so basically i am involving three machines out of this one mission is nine taking two values from this list 99 comma 2 and the second machine is taking two values again 27 comma 0 and the third machine is taking three values that is 145 comma 3 so uh, <clears throat> so this everything will be uh, for merge accumulators we'll be using zip function so if guys if you don't know what is zip function the zip function takes an any iterator as input and returns an iterator of tuples where first item of passed iterator is paired together this 99 27 145 is paired together and similarly then the second item of passed iterator or paired all together now everything is paired all together and then we are passing it to the final value 271 and comma 7 and then we will be finally passing these values into our extract output method so uh, extract output method is nothing uh, it will take uh, input like 271 divided by uh, sorry it will take the sum count sum count 271 divided by 7 and we are using if else condition basically to avoid the first case initialization when our count is zero so basically when our count is zero it will it will uh, it will give us an exception to capture that exception uh, we are using this uh, if else condition basically so in our case the final output will be 38.714285 and i am writing to this output data underscore data bar result so when i view in this result i am getting the same output 38741 there all the all the values so this is how we'll be implementing combined globally function um, globally function in inside a p collection so the same we'll now see how to implement it using combined per key so i'm creating a element uh, where it takes three different elements carrot brinjal and tomato and the respective values three comma two for carrot and one four five three now i'm combining per keys so it is five one and twelve so beam dot map print everything values 
and the next function next method is it is taking a function define saturated sum values max value equal to 8 return min sum values max value and it is creating a beam collection i am creating a p collection beam dot create 3 2 1 the same value whatever i am passing and the max value is 8 so it will return uh, i am returning a function I am returning. Uh, I am returning a. I am implementing a logic here where it should return if the total combine. If the total combine of all these values, if it exceeds more than eight, it should basically return me eight instead of whatever the value I am getting. It should return me eight. So in my function beam dot combine pergi inside that I am passing this method. So three, five, one, and twelve. Basically, it exceeds more than. 8 so it returns 8 now the final thing is combined values basically i'm creating three in an iterable way and i'm just adding it uh, combining values on the key like on the keys based on the iterable values 5 1 and 12 so that's it for today's video i hope you learn something from this video and if you if you do have any comments or any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i will meet you on the next video with new interesting materials until then it's bye from Viknesh. happy learning